Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play for a Link of the Past. I am Russell Sun, and when we left off, we had just finished the Ice Palace, and which was Dungeon 5, and we made it to Dungeon 6, which is Misery Mire, which is where we are picking up right now. So there's not much left, as you can see. Only two uh, dungeons left to uh, get crystals from, and there is one final dungeon after that. So, like I said, uh, Probably going to only get a few more episodes out of this series. We're nearing the end of it, and I apologize for my uh, computer making that noise there. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to be continuing on into Misery Mire. We took care of all of the, uh, all the housekeeping things we needed to do last time. There will be a few more of that at the end of this dungeon, but let's go on with the dungeon first. Right, if I remember correctly, we need the workshop to get across here. So this is Misery Mire. Uh, it's a bit more straightforward than some of the other dungeons, if I remember correctly. There we go. Yeah, so there's three floors here. We're, we're again going down, just like in the last one. Not much on the first floor at all, I think it's just this one room. <laughs> Ah, one of my favorite enemies in the entire series. We run to the Wizrobes here. Who will basically just cast teleport around and cast spells at us from a distance. As you can see, they're a little hard to pin down at times, especially when you're trying to avoid the uh, Mimo statue there. All right. Another one of these uh, very large rooms. Let's check in here first. All right. Ah, I'm trying to remember my way around here. Oh yeah, this room. If I remember correctly, yeah, that's a... Yeah. These are Bemo's eyes. These are even worse than the statues because they will fire repeated laser beams, but only one direction. Which does make them somewhat easier to avoid, unless you're facing one. They become a regular hazard from here on out. As you can see, the last time we picked up the blue mail, which is helping us out a little bit, because we're taking less damage from things now. Ah! That's what would help if I didn't just run into uh, random uh, fire snakes. Oh yeah, torches that shoot fireballs. I hope I need to go through this door. Ow. Well, I wasted a key on it, if not, so let's go see what's through here. I remember I said this was one, one of, wasn't one of the more convoluted dungeons in the beginning, but in all honesty, I don't have a very good recollection of what's in this place, so it's still going to take me a while to get through here. Yeah, I do remember some of these, uh, like, yeah. This is a convoluted, like, okay, maybe it is a convoluted dungeon, even though I said it wasn't at the start. I remember the Wizrobes, because I really like them. I also remember there being lots of traps. Lots of traps. All right, need the magic cape to get across here. I suppose I could use the Cana uh, Berena as well, but or Berna, I guess, but it's. Uh... All right, 
let's not waste more keys. I'm pretty sure I do have to go down this way, but I just want to... As you can see, this dungeon gives you very little time to stand still, which is a bit of a nuisance. Ah! You should, you should fairly, it's fairly easy to avoid those. Yep, I do believe I have managed to get fairly lost. Limited number of bombs, so if I. Uh, my game lagged there again for quite a bit. Alright, we're back on top now. That's good. Ow! This is not a very fun dungeon for me because I think we've established by this point that I tend to have difficulty with lots of traps. Enemies are less of an issue for me. It's but all the traps. That's uh, that is something I have to often worry about. Okay. Okay, that was fairly straightforward to get through here. I think this leads up to uh, that, that. This area looks very familiar. <laughs> Borrows a design from the Eastern Palace. Yeah, this leads up through here. I hope this is a map. No, it's a key. I love having the map in Zelda Dungeons because it makes it so much easier to find out where you're going. Alright, so we need the big key to get through there. I don't have that yet. I don't have much in the way of anything. Alright, so there's the big chest, which if I remember correctly will be the, uh, oh, sorry, will be the last uh, item there in our little uh, inventory panel. We'll be filling the last slot there. There's a few upgrades for other things still to get, but this will be the... we'll fill everything else. Let me just try and turn this thing back into a fairy so I can... Ah! No, that was a waste, not so much of health, but of magic. Now, this dungeon is less magic intensive than uh, the Ice Palace was. But I still like to use a fair bit of it, so... Alright, should we be able to get back this one? No? Okay. Well, I can get through there. Yeah, let's go through there. Okay. I lagged again! Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I hasn't been doing that for quite some time. Oh, another one of these rooms. Yes. Oh, there's something up on the upper floor. Let's go see what else is up on the first floor, because there's not much up there. Okay, did it again. I don't know why it's doing that. Is this one that you have to light? I don't think you can. The torches don't say lit between rooms, I don't think. Oh, what's this to say? Oh, never mind. I do have to. Alright, I need the fire rod for this because I'm not going to be able to...
Okay. I might need to reset those uh, block positions. something worthwhile out of this. I can't remember what it is. Alright. Sorry I'm not saying much at the moment, but I'm trying to concentrate on this puzzle. It's not difficult, but a single misstep was all it takes. And... Alright. It lagged again for quite some time there. Alright, I don't know if it lagged there in the last moment where it was vibrating or not, because it wasn't moving, but you weren't missing anything if it was. Alright, that is odd. I might need to get a better capture card. Alright, I assume this is what this is all for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast your spell at me while I'm gone. Map? No, boss key. Yeah, the room that, that's just the north here isn't very useful, so I'm going to try and avoid it, because uh, uh, there's basically two BMO statues in there and not much else. <laughs> huh. Well, teleport. Now we're, oh, I'm here. Where am I on this? Uh, Alright, well, there's not much in here, so let's open this door. Another teleporter. These anti-fairies are the worst thing ever. Oh my goodness, this thing has tracked me quite well. I don't even think I can lift these things in this form. No. Oh, no, not another one. Two of them in the same room, that's just wrong. Alright, so this is the bottom floor. I don't know if we should be going down here so soon. Oh, uh, I hope no wizard robes teleport in here because this would be brutal, them in a dark room like this. This is bad enough. Oh, okay, no, we have to go back up. We need the dungeon item in, to get to proceed through there. Alright, so that's a good. I'm glad that's there then. This is a good clue that you uh, can't come this way just yet. No, just go up here, Link. Come on. Alright, what is this? A much needed jar of magic potion. Alright. Can I move this? No. Oh, come on. Okay, so I have to go through here, I guess. Okay, so I want to get... I have the big key now, so I want to get what's in that chest. Oh, dear. What? Alright. Enough of this. 
Ow! Okay. Ah, I finally have the map. Okay, so I assume I have to go through here somehow. Get across there. Ah, how do those things always know how to... <laughs> There we go. The Cane of Samaria. Less useful than the blue cane, but this is necessary to proceed through here. I'll jump down here. This is all it does. It creates a block, which admittedly then you can uh, self cause a self-destruct into four uh, fire bolts. I think that's the boss right there. I don't know. I know I'm pointing at a screen you can't see. That's a uh, top uh, in the second, uh, in the basement one there, the top room in that second square, in the top row there. I'm pretty sure that's the boss room. All right, let's uh, see if we can receive. I can get through this way now, which I could not do before. Ow. Yeah, I tried to avoid getting hit by that thing. Alright. Well, I assume I have what I need now. I have the key. I don't have the key. I'm sorry, I have the boss key. I don't have the compass yet, but the compass isn't uh, mandatory, I don't think. Oh dear. Because you have to go down the floor now. Oh, for crying out loud. Ah! I honestly despise those things. Worse than floor, worse than wall masters, worse than any enemy in any video game. They're those anti fairies. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, speaking of whom, I probably need something that's under here. Uh, Oh, there is another room over there. That's that lagged again, lagging again. I have to look at the other screen. All right, I don't know why it keeps doing that, and I apologize for it, but. Oh, well, at least now we don't have to listen to the beeping. Well, that's not even on there, is it? No! <sighs> yeah, the problem with these blocks is it takes absolutely nothing to move them. 
Now that requires a key. That and they tend to disappear once I lose screen. Alright. Is it worth trying to catch another fairy? The boss in here isn't too tricky. But I prefer caution in the, in, towards uh, overconfidence. As the boss fight with the Helmosaur King will remind you all of. Ah! It's too dark down here. Do I need anything up there? That's the question. I cannot remember that. Alright, I'm just going to double check my guide because I'm running low on health. I don't want to waste time if I don't have to. One second. So the only thing up there is a crystal switch. Which I'll be able to tell. Yes, I do need to go up there. Alright. That is getting a little annoying. And I'm running a little low on magic, anyway, and health, so let's drink a potion. Alright, I just have to hit this. That's it. There's a room up there that has a bunch of rupees in it. In fact, I think there's two of them up there that has a bunch of rupees in it. That's what that room is, too, by the way. The one that we need the key to get into. Ah, oh, why not? Let's give it a try. I have to bomb this wall. Oh, come on. Uh, the word chooses to respawn you sometimes after you fall off is a little odd. Oh, Joy's coming back. It's a room with 18 blue rupees in it. I <laughs> not worth all the effort. Oh, I see. Maybe we're supposed to go through this way. Oh, yes, we are supposed to because this way we can. Oh, no. Okay, no. We just need to this. See, it's just a bunch of blue rupees. We have a good amount of rupees still at this point, and we've been doing fine up until now. So. I'm not going to waste my time anymore. Ah, I can see again! <laughs> That's good. That was getting annoying. Alright, I can't remember if we need to trip that crystal switch or not. This is uh, flying through this dungeon. <laughs> yeah, odds were good this was going to be another... Uh, a shorter, another short episode, much like last week, unfortunately. Ah, lots of, lots of them. Ah! Yeah, we did have to trip that. Okay. Alright. Great, lad. Let me speak here. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's going to be some stuff we have to do after the dungeon as well, like replace that potion and a few other things. But yeah, this is probably going to be a shorter because this is the boss and we have everything else we need. This probably won't take too long though. Alright, so here we see Viterius. Yes, that's two eyeball themed monsters in a row. And this is basically the the 
the only trick to this fight is staying in the corner and slashing at the eyeballs that fly out at you. Oh, sorry. One other trick, not dying. But I'm going to drink the other blue potion because uh, uh, this isn't too long. I don't even remember if we need the uh, hookshot. I'm just having it equipped. I thought I had to basically cause these things to... Ow. Yeah, even the lightning bolt doesn't do much damage. Let's shift over here. Because... Alright. Now the actual eye, main eye, is going to bounce around after us. Oh yeah, this is some sort of acid, by the way, so you... You have limited room to maneuver, but... There isn't much to this fight. <laughs> what was that? A minute and a half? Uh, did I not get a heart container off of that? Monsters, thank you. Because he couldn't break the. Yeah. No one ever plans on me getting this far. Yeah, it's fairly straightforward at this point. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Yeah, did I not gain a heart container off of that? Alright, I just want to double check that for my own curiosity's sake. One second. No. Alright, I, I did. I just, I didn't see myself get it. I was a little, little concerned there because it's important. I wanted to 100% this. So, uh, we only have one dungeon left to go to. We'll probably get to there much like I did with... Uh, yeah, we have two heart pieces left to get. And there's one heart container left from the remaining dungeon, so that's uh, that's right. We have a heart and a half left to get. All right, there are a few things, though, we can do first. And first of all, I want to replenish my potions, which I used. I don't know if I have enough rupees for that, though, at the moment, but... If not, I know exactly where I can get more, so it's not going to be that difficult. Yeah, it's 160 for these. Alright. Well, I don't feel like getting another giving a green potion at this point, because two blue potions are better. So, it's gonna add that to the list of things to do. Get some more rupees, which will not be hard, because just have to go back to the village of outcasts, really. Alright. So we have a few things to do, one of which is get a one of the two remaining heart pieces. We will be taking care of that today as well. Alright, so now that we're back in the dark world. No, why are you facing that way? So, we're just gonna make our way to the village of outcasts. And, uh. Well, there's several ways. The uh, treasure chest opening one. And it lagged again. I don't know if this is the fact that uh, my capture card can't handle some of the things happening in this game, which is odd. 
Well, I might need to get a new one then. Yeah. No need for any de any real detour this time. We can just get in here now. the archery game. It's uh, not really all that important. Alright, if I remember correctly, it's one of the houses over here. Yeah, it's basically this one, yeah. I'm just going to do this a few times just to get the rupees I need, and then we'll continue. Yeah. This is basically what I was doing the entire time to get the heart piece as well. Just Usually, just by opening the same two, you get better odds of getting something good. And a heart, usually. <laughs> but. There we go. Oh, uh. Yeah. A few more times, and it'll be fine. Alright. Uh. Once more, and then we'll move on. Alright then. Alright, first things first, the potion. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> he hit me, but I managed to catch the bird anyway. Running alone rupees, finally. There's a reason I didn't spend a lot on that uh, uh, pool of happiness. It's, and this is why, because it's usually a better idea just to spend on resources you're going to need. I rarely run out of bombs or arrows. I use a lot more magic than I do either of those. Alright, so... I believe we are going to have to go to what is basically the Dark World equivalent of our house now. We popped in there previously, I think. It's a bomb shop. But they now have something on sale which we actually want to buy. Which is the other reason I needed more rupees. I don't know if I have enough, though. I cannot remember how much it costs. Alright, let's uh, hope I have enough. If not, I'm going to pause the video and go back and get as much as I need. Alright, in here. Yes, we want this, the super bomb. Ah, oh, just 100 rupees. Alright, now we have to be careful with this because we don't have a lot of uh, rupees to waste here. We want to go to the pyramid, basically.
There is a spot on the pyramid where there's a large cracked wall, which irregular bombs will not break. But this will. I'm also using a lot of magic here just because I can't remember if this is if they hit the bomb it goes off or if this is that's a different game or not. But I'm in no mood to take chances for that. Alright. Cast Ether once more. It's up here. Alright, I think this is it, but I'm just going to double check to be sure that there aren't more cracks on the wall or something. Because I don't want to have to do this again. This is indeed the correct spot. Alright, so we just want to basically plant it right there. Now we have three seconds to vacate before it goes off. Alright. Now these will be the final upgrades for two of our weapons. Want to throw something in? Throw an item, yeah. Yeah, we want to throw the arrow, the bow and arrow for, in first. Yes, we did drop that. These silver arrows are, <laughs> these are silver arrows. To give Ganon his last moment, you, might, you definitely need them. Apparently, Ganon is the reason that she doesn't look like the rest of the fairies. Yeah, you need these to defeat Ganon. We do. Alright, there is one other item that we can upgrade here. And we are definitely doing that because it makes the remainder of this game much easier. Yes. Throwing in our tempered sword here will give us a new sword, which is much better. Yes, we did throw that in. We have the golden sword. There, we now have the strongest sword in the game. And with that, we have done most of the things we need to do before the next dungeon. Uh, we have one heart piece to collect still, but it is actually on the way. Yeah. The golden sword uh, does, <laughs> I think it's four times the damage the initial sword does. Alright. However, it's easier to get to where we're going in the light world. So let's fly yeah, to the mountain. Alright, we have uh, uh Ah Alright, so we want to, I think I actually showed you guys where we were going before because I thought we could get to that heart piece now, but we can't. As you can see, tech techs are no match for the new sword. All right, back to the dark world. And I think we have to quickly, uh, yeah, we came here when I was looking for Heartbeast because I thought it was up this way. It's not. Alright, quickly transition back to the light world. I don't want to go this way. Alright. 
And this, yeah. That's it. That's the heart piece we're getting right there. But we need to come here, and I need to remember what the correct order is, so I'll look that up for a moment. Alright, I'm just going to double check. I won't actually pause because this should be short. Yeah. Yeah, basically, right up left, or... Mm. West, east, north, if you, north if you prefer. Sorry. West, e, east, northwest if you prefer. Alright. This is Turtle Rock, which is the, la the last dungeon. And, sort of. It, however, I want to get that heart piece first. So we want to make our way through these caves. I'm fairly certain this is the right way. Which is quite complex. It's almost a mini dungeon. Alright. This is probably going to require... A bit of navigation, so I will just pause just to find the correct route because we are nearing uh, the 42 minute mark. We're past the sorry, past the 42 minute mark. I want to try and keep this close to an hour. Very complicated, also not in here. So I will probably be referring to my guide a few times, but I won't pause because this is basically the uh, probably gonna make the range of this video because we have to go left after this. Very right. We want to go down here. And we need the hookshot for this to get across a lot of gaps. Alright, here we are. Now it's very important to not try and uh, use any of these, uh, to try lift any of these skulls. Because these are basically our platforms. Now we also have to use Ether Medallion here. The Ether Medallion has one other use you'll find here in a moment. I'm right, now I think I'm in the wrong spot. All right, just one second, I'll just double check where I'm supposed to be. Through there. No, we are at the wrong spot. And I'm just going to save us some time here by doing this. One more chest open. It usually says 50 rupees, which really does help. Alright, is this it, right place? See, the Ether Medallion can reveal hidden pathways, like bat, uh, paths like that. And we have to use that a few times in here, I think. Alright, where to uh, plant a bomb of both of these? These leads to a fairy pond. Yeah, this one. Yeah. All takes some healing. Even with 18 heart containers, it's nice to be a full. Alright. Now we want to go this way. One more wall to bomb. Okay. Fairy fountain. We have all the fairies we need. Out this way. This is the right spot. Yeah. 
there we have it. This is the penultimate heart, pe heart piece. There's one more after this. And we will be getting that next time. Alright, what's the quickest way back to the where I was? I think the quickest path is just to reset this and go uh, back to here. Yeah. Even if it's not, this will work uh, nicely for... Ah. Well, that was irritating. All right. All right. So with this, we are uh, pretty much ready for the final dungeon. Sorry. I keep calling it the final dungeon because it's where the seventh crystal is. There's technically one more after this. I don't feel like that much as much of a spoiler. You guys have seen the massive uh, castle on the map, on the Dark World map, for well, just as long as you've uh, <laughs> I've been referring to it as that. Yeah. So odds are two more videos because Turtle Rock will be the next one. It is probably one of the longest dungeons to date. I think. The final dungeon will be longer. Just... But we'll be uh, seeing that next time. Alright, we don't have to reopen that dice. Yeah, so we need the Quake Medallion to open this. Alright. And this is where we're going to pick up next time. And we will be handling Turtle Rock, the seventh and final dungeon to hold one of these crystal shards. And for everyone who's unaware, I assume you, everyone can tell, but I'll point out for those who can't, the big castle there where the Tower of Hera was in the Light World is going to be our final episode dungeon. So, uh, thank you all for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you here again next time. I hope I'll have figured out all the lagging issues with my capture card by then, but if not, I'll probably just be replacing it at some point. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. I'll uh, see you here again next time as we, for what I assume will be our penultimate episode. And we'll be handling Turtle Rock, who, which is a relatively difficult dungeon. Goodbye, all.